Hello, my lovely Geminis. Wow, Jen, that was uh, quite an intense reading, wasn't it? <laughs> this is for the rest of you lovely Geminis who did not resonate with that reading. So here we are. This is your bonus TGIF for Friday, the 6th of September, 2024. Here we go, Gems. Oh, I'm hearing strike while the iron's hot. I'm also seeing a woman scolding this child. Something about hot, scolding, scolding hot water. Mm. Let's just see what comes through. Oh, Gemini. All right, here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the bonus TGIF reading for my Geminis. Sun, moon, rising and Venus. And the cards are being difficult. Okay. Sun, moon, rising and Venus. So Friday, the 6th of September. Moving into the weekend and into a brand new week. Hmm. Did someone get into hot water, Gemini, with you? Are you angry with someone? We'll see, guys. The Three of Cups. Gemini... You're reuniting with someone, but with a five of cups, you feel that maybe you should have said no. It's as if I really don't feel as if I should take this person back, but I have feelings for them, so I'm going to. The knight of cups. I'm almost getting an eye rolling moment. Oh, you love me, do you? Okay. Oh, well, I guess we could see if we can uh, try again. Yeah. Seven of Wands. You're very defensive, though, against whoever is coming in, saying that they love you. Page of Pentacles. They want to regularly date you. I'm so sorry. They're turning up with a gift. Oh, Gem. Every bone in your body, Gem, may be saying, no, I shouldn't take this person back. They don't deserve me to take them back. But there's a very strong connection between the two of you and a lot of attraction. Yeah, it's going to be tough. The hermit. You may be communicating with a Virgo. You may be saying, okay, well... Um, I wasn't impressed with what you did, the way you behaved, but okay, we'll see how things go. It's almost as if you're a mother scolding this child. <laughs> I'm not going to go into the whole Freudian thing about that, but um, he may be younger than you. You may feel he's a bit immature sometimes, Gem. Seven of Pentacles. I think he's been looking at past mistakes. Whoever's been sat contemplating what he did is what I'm hearing. He's been looking at past mistakes. But Jem, to be honest with you, when all's said and done, there's a lot of love between you two. Even if you may hate him half the time, right? <laughs> the world. I think you guys are moving into a new cycle with the energy of the world. You're closing out a previous cycle and I think you guys are getting back together again. With a two of wands though, Gem, you're still stood at crossroads. Is this right for me? Should I choose someone else? You're still undecided whether or not you've made the right decision. Three of wands, should I embrace change? Has this guy really stepped up? Will he be honest, truthful, faithful? I don't know. Four of Swords, you are healing the relationship, Gemini, but quietly what you're thinking about is, yep, he has a final chance, and if he screws up again, that's it. Game over. I don't think you've told him that, Gem, but this is you silently wondering whether or not he has changed his ways, you know. Nine of Pentacles, you are looking amazing, Gemini. This is you. Sitting in pre-empress energy. But yeah, four of cups. It's as if, oh, okay, well, I'll take him back, but uh, I'm not super excited about it. I don't think he deserves me to take him back. 
but I'll do it because the attraction is there. I know deep down we love each other. But it's almost as if this connection has been tainted somehow. So my gems, underneath the deck, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I think you were angry with this guy. I'm getting a sort of ticking off type of energy, right? Because I feel with the Eight of Cups, he headed off and possibly gave to someone else with the energy of the Six of Pentacles. He came back to say, sorry about that, Page of Cups. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Gem. Mm. Um, I'm going to be a good boy now. I'm going to be a good boy, I promise. I'm going to sit in the energy of temperance. Uh, I'm going to coast. Uh, I'm going to chill. I'm never going to do that again. I'm so sorry. I'm going to temper any thought of being overindulgent. I've changed the death card. And this is you thinking, oh yeah, well, uh, I had a few sleepless nights about you. I don't know whether or not you have changed. I guess time will tell. So, Jam, this guy's still in the doghouse, to be honest. <laughs> he is. But I do think you're going to take a leap of faith and a risk with him again, with the energy of the fool. It's as if I really don't want to be taken for a fool again, but it's too much to lose. You know, you guys may have been together for a while. There's still a lot of chemistry. You are giving him a second chance, but what you're thinking about is that is it. If he messes up a second time, I'm out. Mm. I don't blame you guys. So as always, let's move into messages from the angels. So Archangel Michael, what do the angels have to say to my lovely Geminis? Ask for help from others. You may seek advice from friends or your mom or your sister or something like that. Have I done the right thing in taking this guy back? I don't know. In the near future, okay. We have a timing card in the near future. Ooh, okay. Gemini, he may want to get serious with you quite soon. It's almost as if he can't believe that you'd be good enough to take him back after what he did, whatever he did do. And he may think to himself, my goodness, Gemini's so compassionate. Wow, you know, she's one in a million. Hmm, yeah. Gem, it may work in your favour. Because in the near future, he may say, okay, you know, are you ready to talk about moving in together? Ready to get hitched? Big happy changes ahead, Gem. Yes. Use your intuition in a situation. What does your inner instinct tell you? Has he learned his lessons? Hmm. Yeah, this can be recovered. This can be recovered. Shall we ask, my lovely gems, is this guy going to cheat again? Will he cheat again? No. And with a big exclamation mark, gem, he is never going to cheat again. I think that's what happened, to be honest. Wow. Anything else? Be assertive. Okay, Gemini. Um... As long as you don't act as if you're any type of pushover, and I'm pretty sure, Gems, none of you are, and you stand your ground and you say to him, well, look, you know, I'm still very attracted to you. We spent a lot of time together. I don't want to lose you, but if you ever cheat on me again, that is it. Over. Kaput. Right? Be assertive. So he knows that if he moves into... This relationship again with you, Gemini, he has to be serious. If he isn't, I'm hearing he can go where the sun doesn't shine. Okay. I get you, Gem. I get you, Gem. I think if you give this guy a second chance, he is going to step up. I think he is shocked that you're even considering taking him back to the point where he's going to sit in a lot of gratitude for you. Yeah. So, my lovely Geminis, let's get some messages from this guy to you. Let's see what he wants to say. Here we go, Gem, two decks in one. All right. So, Archangel Michael, what would this guy want to say to my lovely Geminis? What would they want to say to Gem? Thank you. All right. 
he is battling inner demons, which means to be on the straight and narrow, to be honest, to be faithful, to act with integrity isn't second nature to him. What would this guy want to say to Gemini? Thank you, Michael. Ooh, Gemini. Even though he's not messing around on you anymore, there is a woman on the sidelines, almost waiting for him to leave you to be back with her. Could be the woman that he cheated on you with. I've just seen 1414 on the clock. You deserve better than me, okay? He knows he has his failings. He knows he has his failings. But he doesn't want you to give up on him. It's as if, please stick with me. I always want to go on a say because you make me want to be a better man, you know? What else does he want to say to my gems? Okay, Gemini, he's not ready to get super serious. He's just not. He's not. He doesn't want you to give up on him. He is battling inner demons, though. And he's not ready to get really serious. So, Gemini, he wants you back. Um, but be careful. Be careful. Yeah, he doesn't want you to move on. Please don't give up on me. Please don't move on. What else does he want to say to Jan? Will you give me a second chance? Yeah. Yeah. I nearly jogged the camera there, guys. Sorry about that. If um, the cards have changed. I love you. Gemini, it's up to you. I think he had a fling with someone who I think is still waiting on the outskirts of his life, sort of waiting for him to go back to her. He's not because he loves you and he wants a second chance with you. He doesn't want you to move on. He doesn't want you to give up on him. But he knows that mm, you could do better than him, to be honest, Gemini. He knows that. He is battling inner demons and he's not ready to get really serious. But you might be surprised, Gemini. In the near future, he could talk to you about commitment, which could bring about big happy changes. You two could recover this. He isn't going to cheat again, but it's almost as if it's a struggle for him not to cheat. It's as if, for him, he'd be making a sacrifice to not cheat on you. And I don't know how you'd feel about that. This is either someone, Gemini, who needs, in the nicer sense, a bit of sorting out. He needs a very strong woman to stick with him as he goes through maybe a slightly immature phase. Or this is someone, Gem, who has deep, deep, deep insecurity issues. And that means he needs to go out and prove that he can pull other women, which is never good. So it's up to you what you want to do. Gem, let's move into the second reading now. Let's have a look and see if you guys are actually going to make it. Let's see if he is going to be faithful to you. Let's see if you guys can get this back on track. Okay. I'll see you there. Okay, Gemini, really strange. I'm hearing that line from the film Jerry Maguire. And I haven't seen that film for like 10 years. And the line that's coming through is Renny Zellweger talking to her sister and saying to her sister, I love him for the man he wants to be and I love him for the man he nearly is. As in, he's got potential, but he's not there yet. And Jerry Maguire, of course, is played by Tom Cruise. And he's behind the kitchen door and he hears what she says. 
and it's a really embarrassing moment. But that's what's coming through, Gem. You may feel he's got massive potential, but there's a question mark as to whether or not you think he's really ready yet, you know? And I think, to be honest, Gem, he may agree with you. We will see. So, Archangel Michael, what do we have for my lovely Geminis in the situation? What have we got for my lovely Gems? Thank you. Looking at energies, Archangel Michael, now through until the end of 2024. Now through until the end of 2024. Thank you. I'm hearing someone say, I don't want to go from the frying pan into the fire, right? I, I don't want to really regret taking this guy back. Okay. The moon. You're sat in a lot of fear, Gemini. Fearing he's going to step out on you again without you knowing it. The hermit. You may be dealing with a Virgo. It's going to be tricky because, guys, it's almost as if you're holding your breath, waiting for him to be unfaithful again. The Eight of Swords. You may not be sleeping very well, Gemini. You may be in your head about this. Did I do the right thing in taking him back? You know? King of Wands. He's super sexy. He is. You know it. He knows it. But he also knows, Gemini, that you deserve better than him. <sighs> Knight of Wands. He's still got that drive in him to go out and have a bit of fun. Knight of Swords. There may be another argument in the future. Yeah, you may realise that this other woman that he may have had a fling with is sort of hanging around, waiting for him to choose her. He does love you, Gemini. That is your energy, right? The lovers is Gemini, but he does have a choice. This King of Wands is right next to the Knight of Wands, and this is you angry. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, Ten of Swords. Okay. Now, the angel said he wouldn't cheat on you again, ever. But he may stay in touch with this woman because it feeds his ego. So he may not sleep with this woman or be physically unfaithful to you, Jem. But he may want to stay in touch with her. But you may be thinking, yeah, it's not good. At some point, he's actually going to start an affair with her. Three of Pentacles. What you're thinking about is, yeah, he's trying to develop that connection back again. He may still be in communication with this other woman. Two of Wands. You're standing at crossroads. You are not sure whether or not you've done the right thing in taking him back. Eight of Wands. There could be a fiery argument. The Hierophant. Okay, Gemini. I think you're giving him an ultimatum. I think what you're saying to him is, look, if you still feel that you're not ready to settle down, then maybe we should leave it. If you're serious about me, then I want to talk about getting married. I want to talk about making this official. You're almost testing him, Gemini, to see whether or not he's going to run a mile, you know, if you talk about marriage. Nine of Swords. Sleepless Nights. Four of Pentacles. Oh, Gemini. It's as if you feel alone in this relationship with him. You're desperately trying to hang on to this. But you may feel emotionally he's just not there. You know, he's not there yet. He's not ready or he's not spending enough time with you. And you're sad about that. Underneath the deck, the Six of Swords. I mean, you have at this point forgiven him. Six of Swords, right? You've moved to calmer waters. 
after with the ace of wands he had a fling on you and you've been coasting you've been thinking okay i'm going to give him some time to settle back into this relationship queen of swords this is your gemini energy you're looking beautiful you're thinking okay let's just give it some time but i don't know with the energy of the six of wands you may still feel he needs to sort of go out and meet people to feed his ego sometimes Maybe you know there are options around him. There are other women interested in him. You don't know, Gemini, whether or not you're just being taken for a fool. You don't know. But I think with the Ten of Wands, this is you thinking about getting married and realising he is so not ready. He is so not ready. And he knows it. Remember that message, you deserve better than me. He knows what he's like. Four of Cups, Gemini. I mean, this is you just feeling disappointed. It's as if you love him, so you don't want to walk away from this. But you know he's sort of no good for you. You know? It's like, I know he probably looks at other women. I know he finds other women attractive. I know there's a woman on the outskirts of this connection waiting for him to leave me again. You don't trust it. So you're giving him an ultimatum. I'm standing at crossroads. Are we going to talk about getting married? Because with the nine of swords, you're stressed. You're hanging on to him by a thread. That's how you feel. So is it going to work out for Gemini and this guy? What is going to happen here in this connection, please, Archangel Michael? The Knight of Cups. Okay, he does love you. He does genuinely love you. All right, good start. He's going to tell you he loves you. But he's going to cheat on you. He is actually going to cheat on you. Seven of Swords. It's almost as if he can't help himself, Gemini. That's the sad thing. And I think with the energy of the Empress, you could be waiting another 10 years for this guy to grow up, to offer you a commitment. And you're worried that it's never going to happen. This is you thinking, I could be waiting years for this guy to propose. Is this guy going to step up? The Five of Cups. Okay, Gem, I am so sorry. I don't think he is. He is going to say he loves you, but with the Seven of Swords, he is going to cheat on you again. And this is you just feeling really fed up, you know, waiting for him to step up, waiting for him to offer you marriage. And the outcome is a Five of Cups. This is you feeling really disappointed. I just don't understand what this guy's issue is. Do we have any more information for my Geminis? What's going on with him? The sun. He may always feel the grass is greener. He may be a little bit fly by night. He may love to travel, explore different places, different people, right? The nine of cups, he just can't say no to temptation. He can't say no to a pretty face. Gem, I mean, you may look as if, you know, you could grace the front of Vogue, but this is a guy who's addicted to the chase, and that's the problem. He's addicted to the chase. What are you going to do, Gemini? Two of Pentacles, you don't know. You don't know whether to stay or go. What are you going to do? I think you're going to walk away. Eight of Cups. But you're going to walk away with him looking at you walking away. It's as if I'm going to walk away. Are you going to really step up? Or are you going to cheat on me? Are you going to sort yourself out? Because I'm going now. Watch me leave. I don't think it's going to make any difference, Jem. Right? You could be the most eligible woman on this planet, but this guy is addicted to the chase. That's the big problem here. 
What's going to happen to this guy? Okay, Gem, I'm so sorry. He's going to pair up with the Queen of Wands. He's going to pair up with the Queen of Wands. King, Queen of Wands. There is another woman on the sidelines. On the sidelines, okay. This, in the nicest sense, Gemini may be a good time girl, you know. She goes out, she has fun, she drinks a little bit too much. Friends of benefits type situations. She's a good time girl. In many ways, these two are equally matched because he can't help himself. So both of them might be sitting in a little bit of player energy, Gem, whilst you're there wanting him to step up. I don't think he's going to, to be honest. Is Gemini going to meet anyone else if she lets this guy go? The Six of Pentacles. You may be concentrating on your finances. Is Gemini going to meet anyone else? The High Priestess. I think you're going to pull back Gemini for a while and use your intuition. Two of Swords. You know what? I think... You may decide to concentrate on your career for the next few months. Is anyone coming in for Gemini in the next few months? Well, you've got a King of Cups turning up, Gemini. This is a very sensual guy. But I don't know. You may have been hurt too much with the Two of Swords. You may block this guy from getting to know you. No, I think at the end of the day, Gemini, you're going to work on this connection with this King of Cups. So you're going to let your King of Wands head off and be with the Queen of Wands. They deserve each other, right? <laughs> Gemini, you're going to concentrate on your career. You're going to concentrate on your foundation. You're going to pull back from being overly social you may have this King of Cups moving towards you, very sensual, wanting to get to know you, wanting to spend time with you. You may be tempted to say no, but Gem, you may surprise yourself in deciding to work on this. So with the Eight of Pentacles, you may well start dating this King of Cups. Yeah. Would it get serious with the King of Cups? Would it get serious with the King of Cups? Yeah. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. So Gemini, I don't think you're supposed to be with this King of Wands. I think you're supposed to be with this King of Cups. Because you guys are heading to the Ten of Pentacles. I asked whether or not it was going to get serious with the King of Cups. And the card that came out was the Ten of Pentacles. So yes. All right, my gems, my goodness, let's get some messages from the universe. Let's do that. Let's see what the universe has to say. Archangel Michael, what guidance do we have from the universe, please? Resilience. Gemini, you are resilient, but I think with a two and a one, which is three, the universe is asking you to embrace change and to let this guy go. You know, if you can't be faithful, what's the point? sovereignty stand strong in your truth this is the energy of the empress okay beautiful you know your worth hmm. resistance Gemini, this guy may be resistant to getting really serious or they're asking you to resist this guy because you're supposed to be with a King of Cups. Do we have a final message from the universe, Michael, please? Boundaries. Put up strong boundaries, Gemini. It may be very difficult. This guy could be very sexy, but you are supposed to be with another man, okay? Yeah? All right. Now, as always, to close out, we'll ask Archangel Michael for his final message of guidance. 
Archangel Michael, what would you want to say to my lovely Geminis? Thank you. Yeah, shield yourself, Gemini. Put up boundaries. Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle and my home with your powerful shield. Surround us in your purple light, which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones and me safe. Shield yourself from this King of Wands, Gemini. He's not going to change. He hasn't really got to the point in his life where he wants a really serious relationship. Leave him to this Queen of Wands and pretty soon you're going to be meeting this King of Cups. Okay? All right, Gems. So, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Take care of you. Have a lovely weekend. And, of course, I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon, gems. Bye now.